So that's the mason uh for you know putting up his markings for the wall for the wall that he's gonna build for uh, the septic tank so he's just putting up the markings on the ground that is on the floor concrete to the septic tank and he's almost ending up the markings So he already used a, a square, he already used a, a square to start the markings, but then I wasn't around. So at the end of everything, this is how his, his marking is. So that is how his markings is. So remember I told you it's going to be three chambers. So this is uh, uh, number one, that is chamber number one chamber number two at the middle and then chamber number three at the end so it's all gonna you know it's all gonna link through each other so he will make some holes to make it link through each other so that the waste will be flowing from uh, all the three from this one to this one and from this one to this one and I like the way he do the markings he do it perfectly fine all right family Greetings to you all and welcome to the channel. I see your brother, Prince Ayuko, once again uh, sending my greetings from Tamale Prince Guest House. You see this man? <laughs> this man is feeling shy, so he don't want to be in the camera. <laughs> but Jesus, I love you. <laughs> That's one of uh, John Fu's uh, men. Majid, that's his name. Yeah, they are warriors. He has his warrior name, but I've forgotten about it. So, family, how are you doing? How is your day going? And how is our families at your side uh, doing? In today's video, it's going to be a continuation from yesterday's video, so that um, you know uh, everything will be clear for everyone to understand exactly what is going on. So. Um, as I already tell you, it's all about um, the continuation of yesterday's video. And the reason why I'm sharing these videos is because um, I already got the experience of what they are doing. And I know how the end results will be. But then it's very important for me to share the kind of, you know, uh, talent or knowledge that I have in this that I'm carrying my head I mean so when I share something like that maybe one day if you are also going to do a project like this it will be much pretty easier for you because if you go through the videos you can easily know I'm supposed to do this or I'm supposed to do that and that will work out very perfectly for you just like the way it is working for me so um, I'm just gonna take you through for you to see how it's going to build the septic tank Maybe it will be a continuation of the video for tomorrow again. But please kindly subscribe to the channel if you are new. And, you know, click on the notifications button. And just, you know, uh, share the videos as much as you can to your family and fr friends. For everyone to uh, benefit from what we are sharing. So, let me take you one more time to show you all the markings for the wall. So that you will be 100% uh, clear about what is going on. So let's follow me. <laughs> so the men are making the bricks ready for the work to start. They are making the bricks ready. <laughs> they are making the bricks ready for the work to start. To Garma. Gafara Garma. When we say Gafara in Dagbanle, it means excuse me. Gafara. Gafara. It means excuse me. That is in Dagbanle language. 
So these are the markings, as you can see. That's the markings over there to the end. You see, the bricks is at the middle of each chamber or each room to the septic tank. So that's three rooms or three chambers. So I'm going to take you through for you to see how they are mixing up the, uh, the, the concrete for the mortar joints. So right now, Umar, Umar, do I come over you? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so Umar is here and in Yaba in the Bible when we say in Yaba it means my grandfather so that is the name to my biological grandfather that is my mother's father my mother's father was called Smani so as he is called Smani that is my grandfather <laughs> I'm asking him am I correct and he said yes so they are mixing up the to me to my do your work they are mixing up the uh they are just, you know, preparing the river sand to mix up the concrete. Uh, cement man never can come out. One bag woman just couldn't know yell in your nunk at a pig of bazan lena. I will so do buy a little all over. The cup problem just share a portion of it and do it. Could share him your portion, you can everything is our calculation. To my other calculation. Cement man na bakana so bumi kutoji ya so zanya one bag ngoma share ye behuma portion share za Mexico tumda understand ya bo it's simple um i've 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 ordered for cement but um they they did not bring it yet they are on their way coming and i only have just one bag of cement uh a left over from yesterday's cement so i'm telling them to uh just use the one bag of cement to uh, divide a portion of the uh, river sand and then mix it and you know their master will start working with it whilst they are waiting for the uh, cement that is on the way coming instead of you know them just keeping here you know sitting down here in early morning like this waiting for the cement because all of us is fasting so if you fast and uh, you have to do some heavy work or some hard job it has to take you to start it in the morning because it is in the morning that the weather is, is cool, you know, for you to work hard. So I was just sharing with them about some experiences with regards to how to get work going, even when you have less materials. You understand? wheelbarrows, mm -hmm. Ten wheelbarrows. So this is ten wheelbarrows. The, the, the wheelbarrow that the man is pulling that is uh 10 wheelbarrows that is here and usually what i know is three wheelbarrows is to uh one uh cement uh one bag of cement so three wheelbarrows is to one bag of cement hmm? for one wheelbarrow ah, okay for one bag Ah, okay, okay, because it is a septic so tank. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, basically, so then you eh, but no one okay, no, la, ma, bo, then you eh, ma, hold, ma, okay. So he said this one because it is a septic tank. You see what I'm saying? We all learn from each other each and every day. I was expecting them to do this. Uh, he said because it is a septic tank that they are building, they used to and have wheelbarrows of you know two and a half river sand of wheelbarrow to one bag but when we are going to make brick or just build a house we use three wheelbarrows of you know river sand to one bag yeah so fortunately the cement is coming the cement is coming now yes the cement is here the cement is here that is 10 bags of cement so plus this that is uh, that is uh, plus this that will be 11 but they actually told me to buy 10 and i already have one so i, I still went ahead and ordered the 10 you know because they are going to build and not going to make uh, so much concrete today the 10 will be enough for them to work for today Wow, these guys are lifting 50 kilograms of cement like papers. <laughs> no.
ye parlement yer ngalla takara they are lifting it like papers each each cement bag is 50 kg each each cement bag is 50 kg now let me show you the cement that i'm using this cement is made in northern ghana you see it's called uh it's called this is the name diamond cement you see savannah brand Port, portland limestone uh, limestone cement and it's 50 kg you see so this is made in the north here so you see they are using 10 wheelbarrows they, uh, they, i mean they are using 10 wheelbarrows of river sand and they are going to mix it with five bags of cement that is when you are going to build and once you're building to be super strong this is how you do it even some people who are very 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 rich who who you know who is super rich you understand everybody is rich but i mean people who are super rich when they are going to build they would have used two wheelbarrows for one bag you understand they would have used two wheelbarrows for one bag but one thing about this cement is that it's, it's, it's very good. This cement is good. So when they use it, uh, when they use two, uh, two and a half wheelbarrows for one bag, I think that is perfectly fine. It will work out. What <laughs> <laughs> we are just making fun today you know it's all about work and happiness sometimes when they are working i'll just crack some jokes and all of us will start to laugh <laughs> yeah that's why everybody was laughing that's one of the warriors his title is adulana <laughs> Adul and Umbala Sapashini Jankwane. That is Adul and the Sapashini. In Dagbanle, we call them Sapashinima and we also call them Kambonsi because we, we inherited their tradition from the Ashantis. That was way back in the 18th century during the time of Otunfuo Asantihini. That is the Ashanti king who was called Otunfuo Osaitutu the first. And that was in the 18th century. Uh, that was somewhere in the, sorry, in the 17th century. That was during the era of Nagarba. Nagarba. So, no, that was in the 18th. That was in the 18th century, during the era of Nagarba. Nah, Purba. So now they are going to use the six inches bricks to build it. As you can see, they are just making ready, taking it to the site to work. And let me add this bonus video to you for you to enjoy some part of the project. So this is what we were doing yesterday. Um, remember yesterday they were plastering this, uh, this lounge. That is the sitting place. So as you can see, this is how they plastered it. But they didn't finish. They are yet to continue with it. But they were able to finish the sides of the lounge. Hardworking young men. And as you can see, this is how they plastered it. This is how they plastered the sides. So when, whenever the tilers come, everything is gonna be smooth and straight and easy for them to work. They will not have any problems working. And as you can see, the cistern is working. The underground water tank is working pretty well because that is what we are going to use to, you know, uh, mix the concrete. And as you can see, the water is not clean because we did not clean up the, um, the, 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 the cistern yet. We did not, uh, I mean, clean it up yet. And Hudu is just here uh, fetching the water with the bucket into the, the, these barriers that we use to store water to work. So that is the use of the cistern. You see, I'm not paying for water. <laughs> I'm not paying for water. Who do? Mm -hmm. How do you feel about this underground water tank? Uh, it's good because the, the water we are using, if it is not there, we, should, we, we are going to buy it. But now it's free. 
<laughs> so we are just using the, the system water. To, system. The system water uh -huh. to do the concrete, to mix the concrete. That is awesome. And it is so easy for us. <laughs> and it reduces the cost. Yeah, the cost is reduced. <laughs> the water, the, the money we are using for water, we are now going to use it for other purposes, not for water. That is it. <laughs> if we have to buy anything, it has to be something, not water. So as I already tell you, this is what they did. This is pretty much what they did yesterday. And it's left with the sides on top there. They are, all, they are going to plaster all of it to make it look smooth and to make it look much nicer. So that, you know, when the tilers come to tile it, they're going to tile all over it. And this is another flower bed here. I have another flower bed here that I'm going to plant some, some more plants. You understand? So the, for the plan, I think the plan that I, I mean the, 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 I mean the plan that I had for this guest house is working 100%. It's working 100%. Are you now? So how much? Allah. Okay, I'm going to pay this man and then come. He brought me some cement and said 20 Ghana cities. Ndu aku buma because aba tene boga sene no. Oh no, guys who be ni man how we you plan about 10 cities but you know relationship non different. So in Tala 15 cities, yellow one mile na. Hmm. I'm beginning to pay for the service of my uh my cement because. I also have um, this strike cycle that we call Motokin, but I, I give it out to help a friend to do his work and he's still using it. So I will have to, uh, I'll have to, you know, pay him to my change five city. Thank you. Usually they take one city 50 pesos. No. Usually they take one city 50 pesos per bag, but he's trying to charge me two cities, and I said he should reduce the price for me. As you know, I don't want to cheat him, and he shouldn't also cheat me. Be what I do. Uh huh. So it's easy, pretty much easy. It's all about understanding. So they've mixed up the river sand, and uh, they finished mixing it up with the cement. So now. What is left for them to do is to uh, spread it again and start pouring the water into it to mix it up. And one thing about these men is that they like ind indigenous way of working, working without wearing any kind of uh, safety, uh, uh, safety um, dresses or safety boots. So this river sand, when they put on the water, they will have to mix it again with the cement to be, you know, uh, very, very well mixed before they start to use it to build. So mostly this river sand, some of them has clay in them. So when they are working, they pick up the, the, the clay, they just remove the clay from it and then uh, work. So that's what they do first and when they are mixing, they still do it. Oh, Umar. No, the problem might be to do big one. Don't be wasting the water. Water is life. Chief Chamka can I buy a container? Katizida. Okay. We are just having some fun. <laughs> Umar, how many wheelbarrows do you have? Three wheelbarrows. Okay. So for now, they are going to use three wheelbarrows of water. They are going to use three wheelbarrows of water for the concrete. 
So you see what I was talking about, the gravel. You see this tipper truck on the road over there. It's carrying uh, gravel. So someone has bought it. The gravel here is carrying, I believe, will be uh, a, a, like a hundred USD. It will be like a hundred USD because that is a very big tipper truck. This one like this is three trips. So the three trips will be a little bit of a hundred USD. And you see, so for me, when they dug my underground, you know, water tank, and they also uh, dug my two septic tanks, I had this gravel that I'm saving. And I have some more gravel over there, as you can see. I can, you know, boast of um, over 10 trips of gravel, which is over 200 USD. You see, which is over 200 USD. So, you know, everything is about planning, planning, planning. When they break here, everyone is going through their daily hustles. Nah, sister Dabiola. So as you can see, this uh, the Gumba woman has carried their, plast uh, their plastic containers and the other one is also carrying sandals and they are just in the community, you know, going around selling their things. At the end of the day, they will make their money and go home. And they are carrying it on their heads and holding some. <laughs> That's so powerful. So you see, here the bosses to the apprentices are doing things together. If it is some place, the boss will be waiting for the apprentices to uh, mix up the mortar for him to start work. But he himself is doing it together with them. So you see how it, it, it is here. Yeah. That's how it works here. Kamuto Kilugula So they are mixing the I mean they are mixing up the the river sand together with the cement to start building. And this little girl is over there enjoying his, I mean, enjoying herself. Now, as you can see, it is well mixed. The cement is well mixed with the uh, river sand. So now it is, you can see that all the rivers, the color of the river sand has turned to the color of the cement. That is a uniform texture. I love you, hello. Ah, Kasani, I'm not chicken. So, not good. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I was greeting my flanny friend here. We were speaking the Hausa language. I, I was asking him that it's been a while since I've seen him. And he said he's there. It's just because of the fasting that he's not been coming out so much. Just sharing. But some of you want to know what I was saying in Hausa language. <laughs> <laughs> this man, they are just, you know, <laughs> doing everything in a warrior They are just doing everything in a warrior way everywhere. <laughs> so he's going to lay out the first brick. Oh, 
This is the guy who is selling the cement for me. He has taken over all my money. You see him laughing. He has taken all the money that I have. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> the guy with the red shirt, ah, uh, shirt. I'm just making fun of him. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> So there are three men who are here building. That is, you know, the master and his men. So that is the, the, the warrior team. Yeah. Team warriors. So it is this groups that they use to get it to get the wall to be straight that's how they do it here it is the ropes that they will tie and then they will be using it as their you know straight line to the walls so whilst doing this they'll be leaving some spaces for the mortar joints So when they want when they want a short break, that is how they cut it. You know, that is what Bob Marley will say: the stone that the builders refuse shall be the head corner stone. <laughs> 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 So actually, the six inches is very heavy. It's very heavy. So two bricks of the, uh, the I mean two of the six inches bricks can weigh up to 50 kilos just like a, uh, a, the weight of a cement bag He's using the gravel to fill the back, the backyard at Queens, because you know we are going to clear all these plastic bags here. My love, the solo the tip measure my own. I'm going measure my side to side, Mark. I never shot it for the solo. I'm telling uh, Bajan for that is the master to measure the pit and let me see the exact size of it. I know from from the inside. Three feet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, Malao. Lapka, be not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so three feet, nine inches. Wow. Wow. So almost four feet. It's left with a uh, three inches for it to be four feet from the inside that's fine because it's long it will work it will work, it will work perfectly fine so the actual measurement is three feet nine inches three feet nine and the size the size adam i'm going to measure the length i've measured the breath the breath and now i'm going to measure the length from end to end. <coughs> Majid, Bamo from end ma. Seventeen feet. 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 Seventeen feet.
that's perfectly fine you know I don't joke with measurements when I'm building now he's making the separation for the chambers But yeah, for the the boil ma the separate ma the space target bang. Ma the leak la tabo. Ensaro ensaro. Where where ba kayo? Ba ang where leak la tabo. Ma ba naman. Oh, it's too small. Ensaro. Tungo ro para. Bobin. Space tungo para. Aga ka ba ma? Abo ang kayo yan ensaro ma. Ah, kawain not kiri. Why not kiri ma le tangkan kanong? Why not kari chong ma le ang boil 